Yeah. <laughs> On you. Look at this shit. Now, what you think caused this for real? This used to be a dollar store, a conveniently placed dollar store right behind the neighborhood. But we did this shit. Let me give you another perspective. You think, you think the nigga that lived right there came down here and did this? You think anybody in this neighborhood took away their own convenience? It's our neighborhood. Bullshit. The, the firefighters did not come out. I came out here last night myself. The firefighters did not come out here and put this out. Why? The police stood by and watched this motherfucker burn. Why? Probably because they did it. Or probably because someone else on the inside did it. Let me break it down. So the Super Bowl. Hear me out. The Super Bowl is what? One of the most globally watched events ever. Ever. And how long do they have to prepare for the Super Bowl? Two weeks. Two weeks to prepare for the Super Bowl. And for the most part, you get a great product. And then when things do go wrong, Janet Jackson, it's catastrophic. National Guard, our state, police, everybody had over 100 days. First time we caught y'all by surprise with the loot and all that. I understand that. But we had over a hundred days for a decision that y'all knew was gonna happen. This wasn't no unpredictable. Nobody knows who's gonna win the Super Bowl, but the second that they win, there's papers, there's jerseys, all that ready immediately after the win. We knew this shit was gonna happen. And y'all still wasn't prepared. Y'all gotta think, man. This is either part of some type of catastrophic plan this is it some some deeper plan where they trying to set us up but or they just their version of prepared ain't prepared if this is what y'all call prepared it's no wonder we couldn't find Osama you got a hundred days for a decision that you knew was gonna happen and this shit still happened nah nah open your minds man open your minds the news not gonna show this man all the fires are still on the inside don't let media Get out of here. And while the police just stood around and watched it burn, but y'all had a hundred some days to prepare for stuff like this. First time we took out a quick trip, so you know somebody willing to throw down something. You know somebody willing to burn something. So why don't you have firefighters ready? Think, it's part of a bigger plan. They either setting us up for tonight, which like I said, we gonna be live tonight. I'm gonna get them take me a little nap because I'm gonna be out all night. If you fuck with us or, uh, hey, I'll interview you, whatever. But we gonna be out here. Just think, man, just look at this, man. Just look, there's no way, there is no way people gonna take away their own convenience. And everybody that's trying to complain, everybody wanna be mad about yeah, I mean, I see some people running in and out of here taking stuff when it was on fire. You want to be mad at that? I mean, that's fine. I'm not going to judge you, but think about it. <laughs> the building's on fire. If I know I need some toilet paper, it ain't going to do no good to nobody being burned down. So, yeah, I'm going to run in here and grab this shit. I'm not condoning, stealing, all the other jazz, but look, if they going to put it on fire, I'm at least going to get some stuff out of here. So, there it is.